Hello everyone, my name is Andres. I'm a software engineer at Google. Today I'm going to show you how to run and debug a protractor integration test in WebStorm. You can also do this in IntelliJ. The steps are the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start the web server and the Selenium standalone server from the terminal. So if you follow the instructions from the GitHub website, you start the web server and the standalone server. Once you have both servers running, you have to create a configuration. In this case, I'm going to be running uh, this configuration file. I will copy the um, reference. So here, you edit configurations, you click on add, and you choose Node.js. You have to set two values. The first value is the JavaScript file that you want to run. Um, I just opened the protractor project here. So you have to choose the CLI, the command line interface JS file for JavaScript file, which is under lib. So under protractor lib CLI JS. The second argument is the application uh, parameters. This is the configuration file for protractor that you want to run. I set the name, run protractor. And you're going to see it here. You click here to run, you click here to debug. Um, let me exclude these two tests. Um, I'm going to run it, and it's going to fail, of course. OK, so. Uh, debugging is not very intuitive because of the control flow in um, WebDriver. So if you want to see what's going on when a promise uh, gets resolved, you have to set the breakpoint inside the, the then block. So here, I'm going to do um, text. I'm going to set the breakpoint here. I click here on debug and it's going to stop at this point. So it's going to flow like this. It's going to issue all of these commands for a protractor. And once you're done issuing all of these commands, it's going to start executing them in the same order. And uh, here, um, I can see that the text is something completely different from this. And that's why the test will fail. And that's pretty much it. 